What's up, y'all? We're here today in the studio with two acrylic pour masters. We got Panda Vibrations and Jair, and we're gonna be learning how to do acrylic pours today. All the different techniques and things that you need to know how to do your pours from your own home and as easy as possible. These guys have been perfecting their acrylic pours for over a year. They've done each over a hundred different pour pieces and they're ready to bring their knowledge to all of you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do it. All right. So walk me through what kind of compounds and what kind of chemicals we're going to use to get our acrylic pour done today. Well, to get it done, it's actually pretty simple. Okay. You just need some acrylic paint and you need a medium. Um, a medium, okay. Mm -hmm. You ever put me on this, it's a flow trawl. Yeah, so, wanna... so best yeah. way to do it is honestly, if you want, flow you trawl. can get them from, uh, from Home Depot usually around 14 or 15 bucks okay but uh, if you do it right I like to mix my one to three percent paint so one to three paint to flow troll and then I have these bottles there are does it a different way but I have these bottles that are already pre-mixed so it's easier for me to just you know okay do whatever so all these are pre-mixed already oh wonderful so, and where do you get these bottles? Are they, they look like tree. ketchup bottles? Dollar Tree. Yeah. Dollar Tree. Okay. So I mean, you, for a Dollar Tree, you get two of them for a dollar. So. So that probably costs you less than like ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Damn. So. Okay. If you can't get those, you can put the flow trawl directly into the paint too. Uh, once some of it's gotten out, about yeah. like halfway. Yeah. No, for sure. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like glue. Yeah. Another thing is with flow trough too especially, try not to do it with closed doors just because it is toxic mm. and it does smell very strong. Um, so see. That's kind of like working with oil paints. Oil paints and uh, spray paints especially too. Uh, yeah, you so. need circulation. Yes. Good thing we're here in the garage. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then yeah, so when you add the flow trough to the acrylic, make sure you stir it and you really want to get a pretty consistent and droopy kind of texture. So it's really supposed to be kind of, I don't know if you can see that, it's supposed to be very kind of droopy like that. You don't want it to be too thick or whatnot just because when it uh, goes on the canvas, it'll lump up. So I'll put some Floatron here. So the first method we're going to try is flip cup. Yes. So we combine all the colors into one cup and flip it on the canvas. We're going to hit it with the torch, I'll move the paint around, and we'll be done. So we just need a cup, and this one. The colors are going to be flipped, so the color I want on top, I'll have to put first. So I'll put this mm -hmm. one first. Okay. And we'll add a little bit of this metallic gold here. Mm. And I want that to mix with some of this purple. Mm -hmm. Let's add some black on top of that. And then we'll layer that again with some more white. Go back to the gold. And 
pushing the colors from the side of the cup will cause the color to go down. Mm. But as you see, the colors are starting to mix on top here. So we'll just put some of that on top. A little bit more white. Finish it off with some little bit more gold, and then we we'll flip it on the canvas. Okay, and oh wow, yep. just like so. Okay. See those colors are starting to mix. Ooh. And we'll move it over here. Open the other side. Move that down. And open it up. Nice. And, and you, you have to hit it with the torch. Torch to really open that up. You see that? Those are all the cells. That's the chemical reaction with the Floetrol oh. and the paint. So, and it also helps with the air bubbles. That way, your painting doesn't get all bubbly and stuff. So now you can go ahead and move it. Or whatever extra stuff you want. That looks really nice. And obviously, you can do this any way you want. Um, the way I personally like to do it, and Jura likes to do it, is we like to cover all four corners of the... Oh, uh, and to be ready with the cup for the excess? Yes. I see. This is a very messy way of making art, <laughs> but it is fun, very, very fun. Yeah, it's fun, it's cheap, yes, and it's cheap. relatively quick, and I think that's the best part about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the fun part right there. <laughs> I like to use the leftover paint and yeah. do another little layer. Oh. Do this right here. That with the torch. Yeah, some extra textures. Thanks. <laughs> it's kind of like a game trying to <laughs> get all all the covers cornered. a little bit. I want to get some of that black to come down. Mm -hmm. And you could honestly hit it the third time yeah. if you wanted to. So More torch action. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Excellent torch work here. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Yeah, look at so much gold, so much purple. Yes, and once it starts drying, it'll look really, really nice. We should cover this little corner right here, bro. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> that the last corner. There we go. Cool. <laughs> there I got you. And? Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Cool, cool. So let me. And that's a flip cup. Yes. Cool. So, Jair, what are you doing here? So, oh. good friend Panda over here reminded me to use these tacks because I always use tape and I like using tape uh, because it makes this stay white or whatever color the canvas may be. Okay. 
and it just makes it look better, especially if I want to do like a big commission or something like that. It won't, you know, bleed over. Sometimes I'll paint over it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a bag of the canvas, right? So, mm -hmm. why am I struggling so hard with this one here? Jeez. So you have the tax on every corner. Yeah, just so how his is standing up like that, so the paint doesn't drip underneath. Oh, as on this much. piece right here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Bro, can you get this one? I don't know why. So it elevates it yeah, just a few centimeters. It's like. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do? You can remove this white. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Do you want to use any other ones? No, I'm good. Okay. I just need, yeah, because it's already here, so I might as well use it. Yeah, there's plenty of them. But, so I'm going to start off with white, All right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add orange. So I'll just go in there. So, add red. Do that. Favorite color is blue, so add some blue. Hey. Copper, so like copper. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna look like nothing right now, obviously, but all I really wanna do right now is do this. And what I'm trying to do is just get color on the canvas. Right? Spread it down, just let it go down like oh, that. Wow. It's not that big of a but the uh, this is not how it's gonna look like obviously. I'm just really trying to put color on there. Um, so, let me do that, move that down a little bit as you can see, <laughs> see how there's a clump right there, I can tell all automatically, so I grab it, take it out, because I want my painting to be as smooth as possible, mm. just going to add some more colors, and it doesn't really matter, like, <laughs> you can do it, like I said, you can do whatever, it's really just trying to put all this, sometimes the paint will get stuck in here, so. <laughs> Yeah, so, but, yeah, I'm just trying to get all this in here. So, let me move this again. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so now, this is going to be the fun part. Though. That's the drip we came for today. Right. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, wait. But yeah, okay, I love so how the blue and orange are interacting. Yeah, I know, right? So, here comes the fun part. So, now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover my edges. And I do this because it's easier for you to move the paint around and I have to worry about getting these corners and stuff. Mm. So I always paint the edges and stuff first. So now I'm going to take this white and spread it like this. Right? I'm just going to go ahead and take this cap off because it's always being a little annoying. but. Take this red, right? Do this with it. Might add another line of red around here. Right? Something like this. Okay. I might add just a little bit more red right here as well. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of paint, but no one. That's the fun part. <laughs> so, take some more. And you just wanna stack up your colors, really. Right, blue, I love blue, so I'm going to do a lot of blue over here, do some blue over here as well, and I just go ahead and do this white right here, then what I'm going to do is, I think, for this copper, I'm just going to go, just do it everywhere, mm. right? Nice little drizzle. Yeah, so now, this is where the magic happens that people like to say. I like using either a wet cloth or, mm. in this case, a uh, wet paper towel. So what you want to do, take your paper towel, and you just slowly but surely go through the entire thing, and then you want to go through it again. So. about to do. And then you can go ahead and blow pressure if you want. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just pull this down and uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then 
You're about to see all these different colors and bows are about to start popping up. Because now that the paint is layered, it's all going to come through. How close should the flame be? That's good. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now, as you see, the color is starting to come up. All these little different bulbs and stuff. It looks really shiny too. Yep, so. Go ahead and try to. Sorry, I'm trying to build for the camera at the same time. It's okay. Yeah, so let me move that here. And then move that there. Yeah. Last few. So let me see. And then let me. I like to just touch up the. I go underneath because it's just it's easier to color match like that. If you literally go underneath to where the paint fell, so just touching up all the extra parts that I missed on. Obviously that's white, so I just put it right there. And then so. Underneath, then you can just tap the blue there. And you always want to tap because if you spread it like that, it's going to smear the paint off. Mm, okay. So, just want to tap it like that. Um, see, same thing right here. And you can just underneath it and then just slowly go like that. And now, I'll just do it one more time, real quick. But open up some more. And what effect great this shot. creates that I really, really like It's what's really called the web effect. And if you look, if you come up close, you'll see what I'm talking about. It looks like the white is like, has the blue within mm. it, kind of like a web. See, and it kind of gives it more like a rocky kind of like. Yeah, so much texture. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, especially in the orange. Mm -hmm. See, it has like the oranges and the blues and the reds and... Everything just intermingles. It kind of looks like a, like a rock formation in a way too. So it's beautiful. Yeah, appreciate it. So yeah, that's that one. And then now it's about to be your turn. Yeah. And I feel like the best one for you to do. Okay. That I think I've fallen in love with a lot recently. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the easiest, but also the first is the the tree ring one. Is the tree ring one? It's super duper duper easy, but you can get like the one that I did the rose with was a tree ring one. So oh, okay, I would love to try that one. All right, perfect. Yeah. Okay, and we are good. So since this is a bigger canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and tape the back. Oh, I see. Of this so. So, people have known me for my taping space to be really quick, but... So, but just want to take this part, try to make it as close as possible to the actual thing. Okay. And then that way, see what I'm saying? So when it drips off, it'll mm -hmm. like probably hit right here. Okay. And it might bleed obviously a little bit, but... That's okay. And so, then, so once it's dry, you remove the tape, right? And then yes. it's a clean mm -hmm. backside. So there's some paintings that I have that I still haven't removed the tape because I'm like always making new stuff. Oh, okay. So I have six, I have one that I sold recently. Uh -huh. right? Or actually one that I still have that I did last year with Brandon. Uh -huh. And it still has the tape on it. So, <laughs> but yeah, so now you can go That's ahead. That's too funny. Mm -hmm. We got the tape on all the edges. Yeah. So let me... Let me just wipe this off a little bit so it won't get too dirty for you. Yeah. But plus the back part, so it's not really that, but I want to make sure that it's safe. Right. Yeah. How oh, cool. Alright. Awesome, right? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So, okay. 
So, I get to pick my color pattern, right? My color scheme? Yes. Okay. Hmm. What are my three lines today? Yes, real quick. If you're, I'm going to show you how to do that. There's this 3D printed cup oh. that I have that has four slots. Okay. So this is really cool how Gerard was doing the layering, mm -hmm. right? Um, this basically helps you separate every color so when the colors come out, they don't mix. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and it helps the cell. Exactly, the, yeah. Like, okay. So, I mean, it's washed, so don't mind if it, it, it won't mix any of the colors that's already that's in all right. there. That's alright. So, whatever colors you want to do. Yeah, I'm going to load this up right yeah. now. Yeah. And go for it. Don't worry about how much paint you use, I don't care. Use as okay. much as you want, as <laughs> much as your heart desires. Oh, gosh. Ooh, I like that silver. There's these cups still too. Yeah, if you want. Oh, wonderful. Okay. okay. Deep purple. And a spot of that green. Is a nice green. Yeah, yeah it's so like dark. Indigo and these are the same. No, it's different. Oh, they are. So this one is more a lighter blue. This was more of a deeper blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, no, it's kind of. <laughs> and. Yeah, that's the bronze, the copper. Oh, the yeah. copper. I like that. And then. It's all um, is there a white? Uh, yes, there's no white in it. I hear this. Oh, okay. A little bit in there, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with these. Okay. So, is this, is this the, the main colors, and then I'm going to add on top of it? Uh, you can do that too. Uh, okay. So, the, the only thing is, I want you to put. Your four, I guess you would say four favorite colors in that. Right, okay. And then I'll show you the technique and then you can do whatever else, obviously that you want to do. Okay. This is ring cut? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, this is going to be so much fun. Purple. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. It's uh, gonna go on there anyways, right? Yeah, okay. okay. So now I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do it. Sure. Gonna, so what you wanna do is you grab the cup, mm -hmm. you point it, and you're gonna make a circular most adjust with your wrist though. So watch this. See? Okay. And how all the colors are starting to Okay. So here you go. Just with my wrist. Yes. And it's nice that it's pointed already. Mm -hmm, so. There you go. And then I slowly and go outwards? You can do whatever. So ah. the higher you go, the bigger the rings. The lower you go, the more precise the rings. I mean, it's really however you want to do it. So. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Some Or maybe not. I really like the color combo a lot, honestly. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out once everything's Get some slip, slip, slip. Slip, slip, slip. Okay. Perfect. And then now. You can do the same thing again and obviously do like closer sections or you okay. can do this other thing too. So this is a different, I'm going to show you real quick. Mm -hmm. So a different type of ring port. So that was called a tree ring port. Tree ring. Okay. Yes. And this is the, the one I'm going to show you is just the, I guess you can say the original one, the OG one. But I'll just do a OG. little port, right? Okay. <laughs> just to show you. But literally all it is, instead of doing a circular motion, mm -hmm. you're just going to be going like this. So back and forth like this. So. And it just goes like that, and so once you start doing it, it starts creating kind of like, it kind of looks like a phoenix, you see how it's like, yeah. so obviously with more colors and stuff like that, but I mean, you can use that, you can do whatever you want, so. Okay, I have so the tool, can, I can always just yeah, uh, exactly. do some of this as well. Okay, cool. Sure. let's add some, yeah, other, oops. so, oh, you know what, we've got these on the side, so I'm going to do a little bit of Maybe the, try a, the, was that open cut? Yeah. Which one? Strainers? Oh, you can use the strainer too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So strainers, strainer. Yeah. Different strainers and all that. 
good stuff. So, so just lay that on top wherever you want. And then oh my goodness, put okay. Put your colors yeah. on top of that. I would say put it somewhere that doesn't have that, yes. Okay, great. Just because... Okay. Okay, so let's create another focal piece. Oh, I've got one, two, I like triangles. Okay, perfect. So, so once you start doing that, you see it makes like a very nice like floral looking pattern, so. And then I think so, I've yeah. seen you do this before. Yes. Do you, you pick slowly, it up and slowly, yeah. Okay. So you slowly and then like shake, it. right? Yeah. You wanna? It's fine. Should brush dry. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm okay if it turns out a little wonky. <laughs> and I see. Sometimes you can just do that with it too, and I think that looks super cool. You can just like move it around, do whatever. It just looks kind of like. Mm -hmm. So it's all about finding the yeah. the movement techniques yeah. that, that get the paint to exactly. do what you want it to do. So it's just the movement, the amount of time. It's like it's such a big thing in art when they say uh, like you need to know when you're done or when you like <laughs> you know. Sometimes you gotta take breaks or sometimes you just gotta figure it out. But see that looks that, cool because once you start moving that around, it's gonna look super like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and now I want to actually do yeah a bit of this. Okay, go for it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then... Does it have enough paint yet? Do we uh, need more paint? Probably, I would say at least here and here you can just okay. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's... Go for let's it. Let's fill in the gaps. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, no, red Don't forget wonky, to hit it with the torch. Oh uh, yeah. I'm so sure. red. Wow. Yeah. Sure. Maybe jump. Okay. Cool. Love this green too. Oh yeah, you definitely need more like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is. That's fine. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> let's go with the like a. Yeah, it's yellow. 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 Yeah. Right, yeah. And then I think after that you should be good. Okay. So now Ready what you're to start. Do is, yeah, move it around as you please. So you'll see it's not as easy as everybody thinks. <laughs> we might need to hit it with the torch too. Oh, you know what? Yes. yes, 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 yes. It is a little cold. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Stay warm, folks. Oh my yes. gosh, beautiful. But see, like, you see how these little bubbles form? Mm -hmm. So it's all about popping the bubbles because then it just kind of gets like congratulated and stuff like that in the actual okay. thing. So no, it's definitely very important. So and now you can start moving to the game. See, the way I like doing it is trying to go like this. So just kind of like. Uh, oh, almost in a circular? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motion. So, yeah, so you let it go like that, get momentum. That's the thing too, oh, like you okay. kind of let it get momentum and stuff like that, and then, so, yeah, see, slowly but surely. Okay, we so do it's... have a lot of movement, but I think these edges are still, you still... might need to use the swipe technique to spread the colors so See, are you, what you can do too, is, um, you have the, the, the that's oh, my friend. Yeah, I have a, I have another oh, one. I have, I have a different thing here. We got a lot of chaos. This is what my this is what my mental state is <laughs> today. Just lots of chaos. Let's see. Where is this thing You could use a um I don't know what you're talking about, it broke. Yeah, but I have, I have a different thing, it's like a metal... I don't know where it's at. A ruler, I can try out. Here, I'll use the power knife if not. That's good, yeah. 
if you want, you can kind of like. So there's a, the other the swipe technique and stuff too. I'll okay. just show you. Sure. Um, sometimes it uh, depends on how it goes. But if you, uh, if you go like that, it'll make. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to say your piece, but. No, no, it's okay. This is like a collaboration <laughs> piece, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, see, so if you kind of graze it. Okay. Yeah, it, like all the colors kind of like mix in together, oh, and then okay. the little cells start popping up. So like, you see that? Like, and then like, look for example, if I were to hit with the torch. Oh, so okay. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so like now I can keep, yeah, spreading it around. I this one just because it's, it's easier. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like the flat, mm -hmm. flat edge on it. Too. Okay, so, you know. Yeah, oh, that's cool, yeah. So you can do that one. That way you can cover all the corners and stuff like that, and then if you want to add more colors, you can on top of that and do whatever, so. Yeah, so the torch is really a tool that you use at multiple points yeah. in your creation process yes. to keep adding that the cell. dimensions, yeah. Okay. It helps loosen up the paint, and it helps also bring out the bubbles and the cells. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. It looks cool, it looks like you're kind of like an aura. Oh, it's going to be interesting when it's done, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, get into this white. Okay, there's plenty of paint on here. I was tripping. I was like, maybe I need more paint on this <laughs> to get all the edges, but... It's a big canvas, you got to use yeah. a lot. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm getting paint all over the. Watch out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, am I about to get my jacket Close. into it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you fine? Yeah, you can make a mess. It's all good. It's all part of the process. So, that's what it's here for. I love the shady the cells you just got right there. So I'm gonna. And then. Oh, I got some colors over here. Okay. And then. Just right there. And then, so yeah. And then. So yeah. Like, now I'm going to be everywhere. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Looks like that. Nice. Cool. So now yeah, probably you probably all... Yeah, you can move it or yeah, 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 do whatever you keep want. Keep helping it spread around a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a patient thing, yeah. yeah I'm still doing it. Slowly. Oh, I like it. It looks very, very cool. So, I'm not sure how to do this stuff. Yeah. Makes me very happy. It's <laughs> really easy. Oops. Yeah, it is. You just need colors, yeah. patience, and a little technique. Yeah. Obviously, technique is something you learn over time, so. Exactly. Yeah, I love these because I think it's a great way to make a whole color palette, a whole, like, almost, you know, it, the, the acrylic pour can be the whole piece, but you can also start with this and introduce a lot of colors onto your piece and then yeah. paint symbols on top of it yeah, or whatever, do anything yeah. else. And I just love that about it. That is so fun about it. It's very good background work. Like, at the end of the day, it's very, very good background work, like... I've done a few pieces, like I posted a chowder piece, I think, a week ago or something. Oh my gosh, before. the chowder one was awesome. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. I've got a few little sections that don't have much, but I think... Oh no, that's good though. Oh, at this bottom half, I think. Right, they're right here. So. But you know what, that's okay. Yeah. This still got color. Maybe the most important thing to me has always been getting the actual canvas colored, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to make sure there's not too much white spots, but... Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, it's going to look really cool when it's dry, I promise. <clears throat> oh, I see that. Finally over the edge there. Okay, guys. Perfect. Good I'm going to call it... 
colorful chaos. Yeah. <laughs> For real, let me see. Yeah, you can put it up. Okay. Yeah, you can put it up here. Just one of that. You can just put it over there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, oh well, right. I do see what y'all mean. I, I feel like um, my technique could definitely be better on making the, the <laughs> different shapes and, and uh, yes. stuff like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. I, I, I feel like my technique could definitely be improved upon, and I also feel like now, after seeing it, I feel like I should have used less colors and stuck with a more basic uh, uh, color scheme. The, yeah. But the good thing is that you're learning too is mm -hmm. you can definitely use the amount of colors that you just used now. Okay. It's just better to use it on a different technique. Oh, okay. So something like he used, the technique that he used... Which is flip like, cup is flip always cup. the best when you're mixing a lot of colors. Yes, okay. definitely, 100%. Just because all of them are going to go and become one combined thing. Because obviously like it's not really white. It's like gray with mm -hmm. of violet and gold. And, I know, it looks you know, stunning. Yeah, so... But no, you did a really good job. Thanks. Proud of you. <laughs> it, it's it's a piece, and now I know how to do it. Yeah. And now I can go home and just start working with the exactly. with the techniques and get my own flow going. No, yeah, for sure, exactly. Alrighty y'all, so we're all done and my piece turned out pretty awesome, but I definitely know what I want to try differently next time, so I consider this a, a successful workshop. Oh yeah, for sure. These guys showed me all the secrets, I know which mediums to use and proportions to measure out my stuff, so really I can go home and, and go crazy with it, I just need canvas and paint. So thank you guys again so much for of course, yeah, endowing your secrets. Pleasure, for sure. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy too how to make your own acrylic pours. And uh, happy painting. Yes, sir. Yeah.